Hello and welcome back to another Project Ascension Hub video. My name is Halen and today we are talking about the rapid roll feature that was added to Ascension. How it works, when you'd want to use it, yes I have an opinion on that, and also more opinions on is it good or is it the quality of life change that was needed to get people back onto a loon. Like many, I myself have taken a break from Elin, mostly due to IRL things, but many players have stepped away from Elune due to the amount of time and investment it takes to actually roll a build. I'm not talking about getting the marks and the scrolls of fortune. I'm talking about the actual process of sitting down and using said scrolls of fortune. It has become something very tedious and I myself, in trying to make a build video, which has not happened yet, but I promise it will, found that I enjoyed logging into the game and playing, going and doing dailies, doing raids, but then when it came time to sit down and click through all my abilities and try to find those that I was missing, I dreaded it. It was not something I looked forward to, and I started stockpiling hundreds, even almost a thousand scrolls because I just didn't want to do it. So in chapter three, the devs finally took a stab at addressing these concerns by making a native rapid roll system built into the game with a nice interface, but not just saving time, it's also improving the user experience of making the build. Another thing that we didn't have was sharing builds with other players via the architect. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit later on and how that's improved along with the rapid roll system. As pointed out in the Discord by the Ascension team, this feature does not guarantee or increase chances to roll any talent or ability, nor does it consume or use more scrolls than normal. It uses scrolls of fortune sequentially, but for the user, it's instant in one button press, but it will stop on a talent or ability that you have designated as something that you want. In the character advancement window, you will see the button there at the bottom for rapid rolling. Once you click this button, it will open up another window with panes on the left and right side, and then a familiar interface in the middle, which is just where the rolling animation happens, and then we get a couple new buttons there as well. Let's first start on the left-hand side. This is where you will select your desired talents and abilities. You can search and manually find all the talents and abilities that you want to put in your desired list. There's also these options or selections that seem to be maybe a category of synergies with certain abilities or archetypes. However, I'm not totally sure what goes into those and if it's something that you want to trust or use. Instead, I would rather import from a build on the architect. Now, if you're new to Ascension, you may not be familiar with the architect because this season, we didn't really have a way to really share builds easily. It wasn't adapted for all the new talents and abilities, but now players can make builds in the architect and designate abilities and talents in three different categories. You have core, optimal, and empowering. And when you select a build in the architect, you can then import all of them or just the core, optimal, empowering, or a mixture of any of, of the categories. The idea here is that the core abilities or talents are the ones that you absolutely need to make the build work. At least that's how I am interpreting it. And then the optimal choices, those should be the ones that you are looking for ideally to fill out the rest of your build. While the empowering ones are some that you probably will be happy with if you got them, but you may swap them out for an optimal down the line. But at any point in time while you're using the build, you're gonna be happy that you have these talents or abilities. And the architect will allow you to put in more talents and abilities than you could actually roll in game. That way you can create the larger pool of possible things to hit while you're using rapid roll. I prefer just to go to a build or make your own build this interface does not remember, or at least it hasn't for me yet, what my choices were. So if I exit or log out of the game and come back, I'm gonna have to pick those talents and abilities all over again. But if I save a build in the architect, you can easily import those right back in the next time you play uh, to start re-rolling again. So once you've imported all the talents and abilities that you want to be rolling for, we're now going to go over to the right side of the window or the right pane. And these will be the talents and abilities that you currently have rolled in your build. And when you want to get rid of one, you're going to click on it. It will turn red. And now that one is selected for re-rolling whenever you click the button to roll a new ability. And you can select multiple talents and abilities on the right hand side. 
and just start clicking away and re-rolling them. However, I think it's best to just do one at a time. This ensures that you're using the type of scroll of fortune that you want to be using because one of them can roll talents and abilities while the other one just rolls talents. So if you're wanting to use some of those ability scrolls on talent rerolls, so you wanna make sure that you have no ability selected on the right hand side, otherwise it may use some of those scrolls and you didn't really wanna do that yet. And it will use up to the maximum amount of scrolls that you can rap rapidly roll. Uh, I believe the starting point is five and it seems that it will unlock another five after so many rerolls. More on this system later, not exactly sure why they did it this way, but that's how it works. And it will tell you how many scrolls that it used for that reroll. If it uses less than the maximum amount, so let's say you can only use up to five at a time and it stops at two or three, then that means it stopped on something that registered from your left hand choices. It stopped on one of your desired talents or abilities. And then on the left and right hand side, there's these two small square buttons. One allows you to mark the result of your most recent roll as you know not desirable so it marks it red on the right hand side so they can be re-rolled again and then you also have the option to lock that ability that it just resulted in and that's pretty much the whole system uh, it's it might be a little bit overwhelming and scary at first but just to recap left hand side pick all the things you want you can do it manually or you can import it from the architect right hand side pick the things you don't want but i still recommend just doing it one at a time and not just clicking everything that you don't want. And then in the middle is where all the action happens, where you're actually doing the re-rolling and you can make the process go even faster if you use the lock and throw away buttons at the left and right side of the roll button. Now let's talk about when you want to use the rapid re-rolling system. First of all, you can't use it before max level anyways, so that's a good answer. You want to use it at max level. But more specifically, I think you should use the rapid rolling system once you your build is to the point where all the talents and abilities are synergistic or useful to a certain degree but you need of course the specific empowering or optimal choices for your build let me give you a scenario let's say you are making a frost mage build you hit max level you go collect all your free scrolls you go do some dailies you turn in some marks of ascension and you get more reroll scrolls your talents and abilities are probably all over the place you have tanking talents, you have melee stuff, you name it. Since you're trying to make a frost mage, you can benefit from a lot of talents that may have synergies and use cases in other builds. And it's not really something you want in the long run for a frost mage, but it's still gonna benefit you. For example, you still want critical strike chance. You may want hit chance. And you may not care that these talents with critical strike and hit chance also have stuff like melee damage or haste if you don't care about it haste rating so these talents you would be happy to keep them as a fresh max level just starting out on your build and i don't think you would want to spend all the time to put every single possible talent or ability that could be beneficial to your build even if it's not the optimal or core choice in the left hand side of the rapid reroll system so that it will you know stop in case it hits it i think it's better and easier just to use Scrolls of Fortune one by one and roll each individually. And as you get something that's just randomly beneficial for you, just keep it and then move on to the next one. This way you don't quote unquote waste Scrolls of Fortune to get some talents and abilities that will help you in some way. And when you start using Rapid Roll, you know for a fact that anything that it may have hit that's, you know, not core or optimal is probably not better than what you already had. And this shouldn't really take you more than like 30 minutes just to go through and roll away things like block chance or, you know, something totally useless whenever you're trying to build a frost mage. Okay, now let's talk about some things I don't like about the rapid roll system. First, this whole system of upgrading the amount of scrolls that you can use at one time, starting at five and going up like 10, 15, 20. I don't understand why this is a thing. I don't know why we had to have another progression system like the skill card or mystic enchant extract system where you know we, we build up this bar and then we get a benefit after we've done that. 
maybe a technical limitation. They want to make sure that the system just isn't overloaded. Maybe the ability to reroll 100 at one time is too much. I would prefer they just give us whatever that maximum is and let us set it. So if the maximum that the system can handle is 50 at one time, then let us select 50 or do less than that. That being said, also, let me do less. <laughs> uh, on one of my other characters, I think I'm up to 20 right now, maybe almost 25 scrolls at one time. And I can't tell if there's a way to take it lower than that. So if I have 19 scrolls, I have to go roll those manually. I can't just say roll all the rest of my scrolls that's less than 20. Maybe the devs will explain it. Maybe it's already even answered. I'll have to go search the Discord and see. So if it is, then great. I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. Someone will say, well, actually, and I'll read it and I'll give you a thumbs up and move on. Okay, and that's it uh, on the rapid roll system. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything too crucial, but if I did, please let me know in the comments. And uh, I will be posting builds that I am using and wanting to roll on the architect. So if you're looking for those builds, just search Project Ascension Hub, that, that will be a part of the name. And then I will follow it up with stuff like Project Ascension Hub, Locust Ranger, or Project Ascension Hub, crappy shadow build, you know, stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing my builds as I'm making them, uh, you can look them up that way. Thanks to all of you who have watched my videos and continue to comment and reach out even in the time of absence. I really like TBC, so I'm excited to be back and to play that part. And hopefully I will be able to balance my IRL things with making videos. And I'm still working on the Locust Ranger build. And now that we're in TBC, I'm going to have to add new talents and abilities for that build. So I can get it out there for you, but it'll probably already be available to see on the architect at the time of this video. I'm Halen, this is the Project Ascension Hub. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.